Arrivo subito. Organic cola from Tascanini. Arriving soon at a port near you. Fantastico. Every day in the month of Elul, we recite a special prayer. Le David Hashem Oyri Viyishi. In fact, we recite it twice daily. Shachris, and then depending whether you're Nusuch Svarad or Nusuch Ashkenaz, either Mincha or Mairid. And at the end of that paragraph, we say a very special and beautiful Pasuk. Kaveil Hashem, hope to Hashem, chazak v'yameitz libecha, strengthen your heart, v'kaveil Hashem, and continue to hope to Hashem. In fact, the word kave, which means hope, actually means to gather. Because hope is not something which we have easily. We have little droplets, little pieces, and we need to gather all of that optimism, all of that hope together. And then we have a gathering of hope. In fact, the word mikvah, which is the holy body of water which we immerse ourselves to become holy, that is rooted in the word kaveh. A mikvah is a gathering of hope. When a person is impure and they want to purify themselves, they can only start new and start fresh with a gathering of hope. And then we can become new people. We can rid ourselves of all of our impurity, all of the dirt, the spiritual dirt that weighs us down. Recently, a brand new mikvah was dedicated in the city of Baltimore. It's in Taubshul. And Taubshul is named Taubshul it's really Kihilas Arugas Haboisan after Rev Amram Tau, the great Sadik who survived the war and rebuilt his family and much of the Baltimore city. Well, Rev Tau told over a beautiful story. He was in the concentration camps, he went through Gehenna. And one time he was instructed by the cursed Nazis to build an airplane hangar. Well, there were many, many logs and it was right near a river and someone in the group dropped a log into the river. The Nazi guard threatened that unless somebody retrieves the log, he'll begin shooting. Rav Amram did not wait a moment. He jumped into the frozen river and as he felt the cold water and the shivers in his body and he wondered if he survived, he whispered a prayer to Hashem and he said, Almighty God, if you save me, if you allow me to live, I promise I will build a mikvah and their people will be able to immerse themselves and make themselves holy. And this story was told over at the dedication of the new mikvah in Rabbi Taub Shul. Rabbi Taub indeed survived and infused hope in hundreds and thousands of Jews who had lost everything. In the month of Elul, we find ourselves in a reflective and full of introspection. We are thinking about the last year and often we've probably thought of giving up hope. But Elul is the time when we say we can do this. We can start fresh. We can start new. We can be pure. And we will be.